Internet, this is Clip. Today we will take a look at the Hyper D67. This is the first time I have carbon wheel taller than 50, and I'm super excited about it. The wheel also looks much better than I expected. I'm surprised the finish is different from other Hyper wheels. We will take these wheels to Houston and ride 60 miles right after we put them on the bike. From where I came from, very few people buy deep carbon wheels. But ever since I moved to Houston, I see all bike lovers here have very deep carbon wheels. And I think the tall wheels just look awesome. They look like they can move forward even without pedaling. So I'm getting one as well. This is the Hyper D67, the deepest wheel among the Hypers. This is my first wheel set taller than 50, and I haven't been this excited to try out a wheel set in a long time. Let's roll the unboxing music. So this is the Hyper D67. I was surprised when I opened the box because it looked different from others. I have almost all other Hyper wheels, and they all have patterns like D45. Hyper wheels have been very popular in recent years, and I think many people have seen these patterns already. However, the D67 doesn't have the Hyper pattern. The finish is very simple, like a regular UD finish. Personally, I think it looks pretty good. And like all newer Hypers, the rear wheel is taller than the front wheel. The back wheel is very deep, measuring 68, while the front one is only 60. The inner width is 21, but I noticed the outer width is actually wider than other Hyper wheels. The widest part of the ring is 30. They use the ST01 carbon fiber spokes, which are often used in many Chinese carbon wheels. What's interesting is that the spokes on this wheel are really short. But as the ring gets taller, the spokes must get shorter, right? The total weight of the wheel set is 1530 which is about 90 grams heavier than Hyper D45. I will install 32 GP5000 for now, because later on, I will be riding on pretty rough roads. If you are using tall wheels like this, be sure to bring spare tubes with longer valves, because if you have a flat tire, most likely the people nearby won't have tubes with valves long enough. And after we put on the tires, cassette, and the disc, the total weight of the wheel set is the same as my D45. Because I put tubeless tires on my D45, the weight reduction from the lightweight inner tube offset the weight of the rings. And this is how it looks like on the bike. The bike suddenly looks very badass. And I'm not sure if these wheels are too over for this bike already. But this look sure makes me feel very excited. And the first time this wheel touched the ground is for the Fun Houston Bike Event to the Houston. This is downtown Houston, and we will be riding through industrial and the residential areas, passing by NASA and then come back again. The event is about 60 miles. Houston people are so very happy riding bikes. Houston is a big city in the United States and has been developing since the 19th century. The roads here are mixed with different surfaces, such as asphalt, 
cobblestone and concrete. I have lived in many different countries and cities before, and I would say the road service here does have a lot of character. Luckily, the 32 tire I installed on my bike today definitely helped. Even the road service are not perfect, the ride is incredibly smooth. The combination of the wheel set and the tire feel light and nimble, and it feels easy to maintain speed on all different road surfaces. I think the tall wheel set itself boosts a lot of spirit. I feel super energetic riding these wheels. The wheels are awesome. And that person also has very deep carbon wheels on his tricycle. And the person who just passed me is my friend. His jersey says Ryan Marshall. He is a Ryan Marshall in over 20 cycling events per year. If he encounters someone with a bike problem, he stops to help them. What a nice person. And because this event has full traffic control, we have reached the halfway in a very short time. And now we are turning back to the city center. Houston's NASA Space Center is nearby. The wind here is very strong. After cycling 30 miles from the morning till now, this is the first time I have noticed the effect on close winds on me. When riding among many people, I don't feel the close winds. But when there are few riders around me, especially on the bridge, I began to notice a sudden gust of the wind that pushes me. I didn't feel this while using D45. If you are using taller wheels, you really need to focus more. Also, I really noticed the inertia that taller wheels make, especially when riding solo on a smooth road. I found that I can often keep in higher speed than usual. And with traffic control all along the way, we soon complete 60 miles and return to the city center before 11 o'clock. This lady in front of us is riding an e-bike. I think the new carbon wheel gives me almost as much boost as battery. And because I was so happy with my new wheels, I feel super refreshed after 60 miles. There are also food and drinks being served in the park in front of the city hall. My friend stopped to help people fix their bike and came back earlier than me. The flowers are so beautiful. This is really a nice morning to ride bikes. Honestly, after looking at these wheels for a while, they started to look normal to me and they look even better on this bike. I used to think deep carbon wheels are overkill, but once your eyes get used to it, this look somehow grows on you. Well, that's my story of trying out tall carbon wheels for the first time. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.